hope you're doing okay so today i'm in a bit of a different location i'm in la Arrgh. i have never been here before it's my first time in los angeles i'm actually here with airbnb which is super exciting and i've brought Liz along with me Hi. <laughs> we've just got here the flight was really long i mean i know there's much longer flights but for me it's the longest flight i've ever done the longest till this flight was when I used to go to Denver for medical treatment, which was like a couple hours shorter, I think, than this. So I was very worried about this flight. I'm worried about getting through it, and it was a lot. I wasn't able to sleep or anything. So I'm feeling it now, because right now in London, it's like 2 a.m. I don't even know what I'm running on. I think I'm running on adrenaline right now, but I'm super excited to be here and take you along with me. I'm here for about five days. We're gonna go to Santa Monica, and then obviously have to go to Erewhon, because it'd be rude not to. But yeah, it should be fun. But first, let me give you guys a room tour. So, this is the entrance. It's a bit weird because the sink is like right here, but I like the like the styling and the interior design. Here we've got the toilet. The toilet's actually huge. And then here we've got the shower. Ta -da. I'm a bit concerned that that's see-through. And then here we've just got like the cupboard. I'm gonna hang up some of my stuff, I think. And then we've got a little mini fridge, more shelves. And then we've got our bed. I love the headboard of it, it's so cute. It's very like boho vibes. And then, oh my gosh, Airbnb put some little gifts in here for us. So we've got some dried mango from Erewhon. We've got some popcorns. We've got some like chocolate, oh, chocolate toffee pistachios. And then we've got a Airbnb bottle, a power bank, and a note from them saying, Nikki, welcome to LA. Thanks so much for joining us this week. As you settle in over the next few days, we hope you enjoy a bit of the city on us. We look forward to seeing you. XO, XO, gossip girl, XO Airbnb. And then this really cute bag as well. I've always wondered when these like shopper bags, it makes me feel like a mom, I love it. And then, yeah, we've got a cute little table and chairs area. We've already dumped our stuff everywhere, so it's a bit- uh, Correction, you have, well, thank you yeah, very I much. Just want it. So yeah, I think we're gonna chill for a bit. I might do a little bit of unpacking just so I can actually see some of my clothes, but there's not enough space for me to get them all out, so. Let's go and unpack it. Listen, I'm, I'm, I pack for content. Um, so I think maybe later we'll go out and get some food, but it's just a chill one today because we've had a really long day. I mean, more than a day. It's, it's technically like 4 a.m. right now. Yeah, I'm like not okay, I've not slept, so yeah. I'm just gonna chill for a bit, do that, and then I'll get back to you guys when we decide what we're doing. So it's a little bit later now, it's 9 p.m., which is like 6 a.m. in the UK, so I am flagging. But I've actually ordered some ramen. Liz has initially she ordered some pizza, and the pizza never came, and then they said it came. So it's been a whole faff, but she's gone for Chick fil A. Um, but yeah, I wanted something just like cozy, warm, comforting after a long day. Then I'm gonna get ready for bed and just chill even if i'm just lying here for a bit at least i'm just like you know la really starts tomorrow and we'll be exploring good night hey so it is day one officially in la me and liz have just got all dressed up this is what i'm wearing let's do a little la ooltd so my set is from with jean it's quite cute it felt quite la and then i've just got some like silver bangles on and then this really fun bag from Coach with kisses all over it. Thought it went with the outfit quite well. And then my little boots, which are just from Depop. That's the day outfit for today. So let's go explore LA. We're going to get some food, some brunch. I've heard Dialogue Cafe is supposed to be really good, so we're going to give that a go. Fingers crossed we can get a table. And then we're going to go to Target. I've started my period. I had a difficult night last night. I, I'm gonna actually say basically I woke up feeling really sick and I think it was just being overtired I've also come on my period today and I don't have any more pads I literally brought three pads with me luckily so I need to go to Target 
to get some pads especially yeah i just got really sick i think because i literally ate and went straight to bed my food didn't have time to like settle and i had ramen so that was like quite a lot so yeah i'm feeling all right today but last night i was feeling rough like Liz, you can join them join in and okay i was literally like i had my headphones on watching my laptop in the toilet like just lying there <laughs> and then you were like are you okay yeah i was worried i was like I woke up and then I waited for five minutes because I was probably in the toilet. Yeah. And I was like, this girl isn't coming out. No. So I was like mentally preparing myself. I thought she'd pass out on the floor. I was like, right. And then she was just sat there watching um, To All The Boys I've Loved Before. Yeah, just trying not to throw up. So yeah, luckily I didn't. No. This made me a green tea and I think that just helped like calm settle me a little bit so yeah i got some sleep but feeling so out of it like it's so late right now in london and I in know, the uk it's, so it's, it's just weird really disorientating but, but look at the day it's yeah. beautiful although apparently it's sunny in the uk yeah, I know. as soon as we leave but yeah really sunny blue sky not a cloud in sight it's gonna be a good day Woo! Here. We're definitely less central, so we're gonna when we move hotels be a bit more central later this week. But I've ordered a freshly squeezed orange juice, beautiful, what I needed. This as an apple one, fine, so it's banging. And I've also ordered, so I felt like let me get something different. A oat honey cappuccino, and it's also banging. You have to like walk up and order. So I was like on the spot, so I don't actually know what I got. But yeah, after this, we're gonna actually just explore the area because it's quite cute around here. Then go to Target. Food! I've got like a smoked salmon cream cheese bagel. No, I've already eaten one. It was basically like what Eggs Benedict. In this like. with like loads of different egg types and bacon. Yum. I'm gonna do a little shopping spray. Have a look yeah. at all the American There's so stuff. many minis next to me. I'm actually yeah. so excited. Also, for trolling. We did an American accent in the Uber. And oh, so my funny. God. I wish we filmed it. I filmed a little you bit. You did? I'll oh my god. It. it was, I could not I was, stop guys, I went in, I went, I literally, we commit to the bit. Well, I commit to the bit. I got it in and I just broke. I just, I just like, broke down. I was like, hi. So like, what do you want to do for the rest of the day? <laughs> Hitting up Erwan? It was not good. Stop going so Sorry, fast. I'm just excited. Guys, we're in the food section. I'm so excited. Oh my god. I'm going to get this. Not this big of a pack, but yeah. I'm gonna get a Celsius. What's this? Sparkling white peach. Oh, I think I'm gonna get that. I'll get this one then. Yeah, okay. And we can mix. Yeah. Okay. Cheers. In my opinion, Fiji water is the best water. I just think it tastes the best. I noticed in America, like, waters really have distinctive taste. But I think it's also because I never drink still when I'm in the UK. I just drink fizzy water. So when I'm here, I actually drink water oh my god this is the sweet aisle crazy someone's happy <laughs> this just takes me back to denver like when i used to go to denver and get all of this stuff everything is just xxl the packaging of cadbury's is completely different it's so strange well i'm gonna get a tired pen not food but i've always wanted one i'm gonna get these two parmesan goldfish these nails i would have eaten them up yeah when i was younger i was giving claire's shopping it is absolutely boiling in our room so yeah we went for a little walk actually around the hotel area there's not much around but we bumped into lola and tilly two of the other girls who are on the airbnb trip for a night and yeah now we're gonna do a haul so we have some face masks we both got celsius 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 celsius, celsius. Celsius. Why do you think it was Celsius? No, Celsius is like a drink. Oh, yeah. Like it's, but it's Celsius. This is, what are these? Energy drinks. It's basically kind of like an energy drink. So I got watermelon. What do you get? I got peach. White peach. So it's, we'll try them. Yeah, oh, we'll should we try it now? Yeah, let's try it now. <gasps> oh, my God. <laughs> okay, I'll talk through some of the other things. I got a Tide pen. because so I see these everywhere. And obviously, we don't have Tide in the UK. So I got one of these. They're supposed to be amazing for stains. And then I got some M&M's caramel, caramel cold brew filling. There would no, never be anything like this in the UK. But we should do a taste test. Yeah, we'll do a taste test of them. And I got this NYX 
like green color corrected stick. Mini by Derma mm. for makeup remover, good for trouble. And then I got, I'm gonna try these actually as well, mm. EOS lip balm, birthday cake like flavor. I think it is a crime not to get EOS when you're in America. Yeah, but I like that these are sticks, not the mm. balls, because the balls are useless. And then like a glowy thing for my nails. And the biggest bag of popcorn you've ever did see. Okay, let's try this. Cheers. Cheers. I'm scared I won't like it. Have a, like a funny feeling. It's just like so sweet. Like, mm, oh my God. I can't mm. drink it. The flavor is nice, but it's too sweet. Like you can taste the sweetener. That reminds me of medicine. Really? Yeah. I'll have both. You'll have both? Mm. I got some goldfish. Starburst, but the elite flavors. Jolly Ranchers, Nerds Clusters, and some little makeup wipes, which I thought was really cute for like travel. Okay, did you try these? Mm. <laughs> no. Okay, and now, hopefully it's not a late one tonight, because I'm not, I'm not bouncing it. So I've just put a new outfit on. It was actually from the same place as my last one, but I've added a little body chain, pinch my bag, and it's time for dinner. I literally just feel like we came and are gone again. So I'll see you when we get to the restaurant. I think we have a mix of it. Yeah, guys, we're excited. We're getting, we're getting lit. Good morning. It is day two in LA. Yesterday night was really weird. I didn't end up vlogging anything. The night in itself was lovely. Like the food was, well, it looked really good. And they had these churros that spelled out LA. It was so cool. But I just didn't feel good. Like I just, I felt really just not well. I think it's because I'm on my period. Like, I just don't feel good. And so I didn't end up eating much and kind of just sat there. But it was really nice because we spoke to some of the other people on the trip. Like, we spoke to these two guys that are from Belgium. And I just kind of sat with Lola and Chili. Luckily, it was quite chill vibes and, you know, it wasn't long. And then I just came back took off my makeup and chilled there wasn't really anything to report but today is the actual like proper airbnb day where we're going to be learning more about what this exciting new launch is so i've just been like getting my outfit sorted i don't know what to wear because it's a daytime thing but then i'm also like are people dressing up what's the vibe so i'm going for these little shoes that i just got from mango they're kind of like heeled pumps and then i'm gonna go for this black bag i think and then this little set i've got all i've been wearing is sets just because they're so easy from paloma wool it's like this gray half like top and then this like matching kind of bottom but it also has like a a skirt overlay so it's cute it's cute so that's what we're going for so yeah i'm just gonna start getting ready i've just ordered a matcher to the room my fringe has seen better days but no today should be nice it's like a day event which i'm actually kind of happier about so then in the evening we're sort of free i think we're going to initially i was saying like oh let's go to santa monica but actually i think we should do that tomorrow when we move to our other hotel so i think yeah today's just going to be more like doing the stuff for the airbnb thing um and then after that we'll just play it by ear we've not actually been to the rooftop of this hotel but it's supposed to be quite cute so maybe we'll just come back and do that and then just grab some food or something so we shall see but yeah i'm gonna start getting ready now <laughs> into the green room there was food food and more food and i was very happy about it here's me and the girlies trying everything had to get fueled for the exciting day we had ahead of us ah, i literally was so excited to hear all about what airbnb was up to i also spotted mila kunis and aston kutcher what was i doing in the same room as them i don't know the most exciting part is the new category of experiences they've created called icons they unveiled the first 11 and obviously the one i was most excited about was up and also experienced intimate performances from Kevin Hart and Doja Cat. My jaw was honestly on the floor the whole time, but when they unveiled that they brought the up house that you can now stay in from New Mexico to LA, that was 
Oh, I have no words. I honestly found it really emotional. It was literally bringing my childhood into real life. And they had made everything a picture perfect replica of the film. From Carl's bedroom with all the photos in his glasses to Ellie's pin. It just kept getting better and better every room that we walked into. Just imagine staying here. And the walker. That was not okay. I had tears in my eyes the whole time. It was the adventure book that truly did it for me. I can't believe how picture perfect they got it to the real movie. What just happened, Nikki? Oh my God. They brought the up house here and it's got all the balloons. I'm actually like- I feel like we're in Disney World. I'm on the crying. Good morning! It is day... Is it three? Yes. Day three in LA. And we're actually packing up to take our bags to our next hotel. Our final destination. I have gone for a little bit of a different outfit today. Let me put it down to show you. I'm wearing these little capri jeans and some black pumps. And then a white vest. This, like, red cardi. And... Just this like headscarf. I never wear things like this, but it's actually quite cute. I mean, the weather today in LA is pretty gloomy at the moment. I'm hoping it lightens up. I think it is. They said like later in the day it was going to. But yeah, we're gonna pack up our stuff and then. Oh, it's untied underneath. We'll have to retie it. So we're gonna go dump our stuff at our next hotel. We'll check out and then go to eat at Earth Cafe. Yeah. Cut off my blood supply. That should be good. Perfect. Yeah, I'm wearing this. It's very holiday vibes. But I also think it's quite cute. Liz is wearing blue too. It's a blue kind of day. Fed check. So yeah, we're gonna go to Earth. I'm actually really excited about Earth. Yeah, Earth Cafe. I feel like it was very peaked in like 2018. Yeah, although I did really like Dialogue Cafe we went to the other day. Yeah, that was really, really nice. It. Maybe we go there on the last day, yeah. like before we go to the airport, yeah, like as our right. like meal. Because that was really yummy. But yeah, it'll be nice to be in like Melrose area because there's like a lot more to do there, to see. It's a little bit more walking friendly than it is around here. So yesterday, Airbnb had their event. It was basically like them unveiling this new category they have on their website called Icons. And it was actually like quite emotional because they, they've created the house that's the exact same as the up house like carl stays in um and it was actually really emotional like everything was literally like to perfection like it was a complete copy of the film it was it was actually oh my insane. god it was like it felt like i'd been there before yeah it, it was, was it was so crazy weird. it was literally like childhood but made in person it was really emotional i think for that and it's actually really cute when he was like you know most of like people try and escape online now and yeah. we want to show that like magic can be in person as well and the voice actor of carl was there yeah the voice actor that plays carl fredrickson was literally there which is insane it's something that no other company's doing and it was actually so exciting and they unveiled that it has eighty thousand. was it like eighty thousand? what was it like 80 some crazy amount of balloons attached mm. to it and the house actually flies not from the balloons <laughs> no like from a crane. From a crane that picks up the house. Actually mental. So I feel like now, you know, the work stuff's kind of done. We will, um, yeah, let's go to Melrose today, check in. I want to go to Santa Monica Pier. And then I think the day after, I really want to go to S Salt and Straw Ice Cream. It's supposed to be amazing. Yeah. I really want to do that. We're supposed to the Hollywood sign. Yeah. And I'm quite keen to go to the Griffith Observatory. Observatory. Maybe we could do that in the evening though, when the sun's setting. Yeah. Tomorrow. When? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. I keep thinking we're going tomorrow. Let's go check out. So we've arrived in Melrose. It's too early to check into our hotel, which we anticipated, but it's such a cute area we're walking around like more communal kind of streets and it's so cute but yeah it's just nice to walk around around here it feels a bit easier to do that so very a pad on the floor oh as i say that there's a period pad on the floor <laughs> this lemonade is honestly the best lemonade i've ever had and look at our view cheers we've got the food I got a parma ham, mozzarella. It says panini, but that's not panini bread. But I got like a toasted sandwich. Got the lemonade and I got a nice coffee. And this has got a pizza. Pizza, pizza. pizza. Delish. So I'm gonna tuck into this now. What would you rate it out of? Oh my god, this is incredible. Is it? Oh my god, I'm so excited. I got vanilla and Liz got red velvet. 
sleep giving. And it sticks out. You don't like it. I don't not like it. It's just like a bit basic. I like eating with a fork, I don't know why. Oh! But that is sick. I love that. I found that, guys. This found this. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Did some damage. Now on to one more. Such a good thrift shop. If you're ever in LA, check out Wasteland, especially on Melrose. It is so good. I found these cute little shorts and I'm getting this purse for my friend's birthday. They have Heaven by Mark Jacobs in here, Versace. Like, if I had more time and energy, I'd be spending hours in here. Okay, we're here. Ah. Ooh. Oh my god, this is so nice. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's a good bed. And this is good because we can like sit here and do our makeup and then have a little bit of a woman made this room. Yeah. Look at this view. Insane. So this is our room. Bed is here. Desk is here. And then we have little mini bar bits here and then here's the bathroom. The shower's cool. It's got a seat in it. That's fun. <laughs> and then we've got some robes. We desperately wanted robes. And then here, we've actually got a really nice oh, robe. size wardrobe. We've got some slippers. Coffee machine. Delightful. Is there anything in here? Oh, it's stocked. Fabulous. Going to quickly, um, well not unpack, just kind of get changed, have a little freshen up. I need to take my tablet and then I think we're going to quickly head out and go to Santa Monica because it's a bit of a drive away. But yeah, cute. This is our digs for the next two days. <laughs> to be on the pier yes Th this sea water is not doing well with my hair i'm just happy to be there <laughs> it's not even funny how much sand i have in my feet right now she's like bambi <laughs> oh it's turned on what's turned on oh yeah oh, was it like that before no no as in no, it wasn't like that before. <laughs> okay, this is how much sand is in Nikki's shoe. <laughs> oh my god. That was after being on the sand for 10 seconds. <laughs> Taking off the beach with me. Oh, oh really? <laughs> So we're back and I've just ordered some room service. To be honest, I ordered like too much. Um, so I've ordered this cheesecake. I've ordered these asparagus because I just wanted some veg. Normally when I'm at home, like I always have veg with dinner. So I kind of have missed that since being here. And then I got this risotto with veg in it too. So I'm feeling good. Although I was on the phone to the lady like, is the risotto big? Because I'm not feeling eating a lot. And she was like, no, it's not. It's huge, but it's fine. I'll just eat what I can. I was actually going to get Chipotle, but I didn't want to leave the room. And yeah, I just fancied something a bit more like homey. But yeah, portions are good. So I'm going to tuck into this now. They've also given me some free bread. We love that. But I'm going to not eat that because otherwise I won't eat any of my other food first. But yeah, Santa Monica was really nice. Very busy. It reminded me of Brighton um, Pier, if you know about that. But the beach is a lot nicer in 
LA than Santa Monica, and then Brighton is very pebbly. But the amount of sand I got in my shoes was actually a joke. I took the whole beach with me, didn't I? <laughs> it's actually a joke. I tipped them out like four times, and I still had like yeah, it was really so bad. The beach home, is it? Honestly, like I showered and I still had like I had sand in my mouth, and I was like, how's it got in my mouth? <laughs> I kept saying to Alicia. Can you hear it? Do you hear my crunch? Do you hear my crunch? <laughs> so yeah, just gonna chill. Gonna watch the new film with Anne Hathaway in it because I've been wanting to watch it for ages. But I'm gonna wear headphones because Liz wants to watch it on the plane. <laughs> so I can't listen to it out loud. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm gonna eat this now before it gets cold. Yeah, I'll probably say goodnight and I'll see you tomorrow for our last proper day of exploring LA. <laughs> So it is our last proper day in LA and it's about 4 p.m. We have spent the day, we went for breakfast at this really yummy place called Great White. It was actually so good. I had like a poke bowl. And then we went to Erwan. I'll actually do a little Erwan haul because although we got the Hayley Bieber smoothies a couple of days ago, we didn't actually look at Erwan. This Erwan was a lot busier, so there wasn't as much choice. I don't know what one we went to before. This was a different one. This was in like Beverly Hills, like the strip. So it was just a lot busier and smaller, but I still got a few bits and pieces. I popped into Reformation. Um, I didn't think I was actually going to have time, but as we were walking on the Beverly like strip, there was, I know it's not a strip, but like, you know, it's all one, one row. So while we were walking there, I saw Reformation. So I thought, oh, I may as well just go in. And the lovely team uh, gifted me a few bits. And then we went to look a little bit more at the Beverly Hills area. So we saw the Beverly Hills sign and things like that. And now I'm here. So let me show you what I got from Erwan. I got just some snacky things really. Um, I got some dark chocolate almond butter crunch cups. I got two of those and then I got these which I've already been snacking on they're actually really yummy they're basically like these pastry rolls kind of like wafers but made with like coconut cream and they're my music just started playing out of nowhere that scared me so much what just happened and oh my gosh it's nearly five actually now it's like 10 to 5 but yeah these are espresso flavored and i love coffee so yeah these are yummy to just snack on and then i got a couple of these shots i actually got this on the day this was the only other thing i bought on the day of the hayley bieber thing and um, it's called golden eye it's got pineapple water ginger basically just lots of healthy stuff so i'm gonna have one today and tomorrow just to make me feel healthy i'm gonna put them in the fridge though and then i got this i kind of just picked it up i honestly don't know what it is i literally don't know what it is i don't even know what i bought i got some pink pineapple sour stars i might actually take one of these on the plane with me and then i got these like energy balls so i got some coconut flavored ones and some pistachio flavored ones and then i got more sour sweets but these are like good for you ones and finally i got more sweets i got um these gummy bears that are watermelon mango and light chew flavored so that's everything I got from our one. I would have liked to have like gone to the same one we went to before again because I feel like I would have joined the enjoyed the experience more. Like this one was really, really busy. Like there was literally nearly a queue going out the door for people to get their lunch. But then for Reformation, I got this cardigan. I've actually wanted one of these cardigans for so long. Um, it's this brown cardi, just like cropped cardi, goes with everything. We love. I've been trying to wear red a bit more because I was really like not a red girl. I would steer clear of it. It was a scary colour to me. And then recently I've been wearing it a lot more and I get a lot of compliments when I wear it. So I got this really cute off the shoulder red dress. I absolutely love it. I just think red's really eye catching. And then also this is actually a bit big for me. I could have done with a size zero but they didn't have it in stock. But it's this really cute leopard print lace dress. And it's got like a little kind of like how here on the chest it's really cute but i think i'll have to get it taken in when i get back to london but the, those are the things i got from reformation so lovely picked up a couple of goodies on the way home and then we went thrifting yesterday as you saw we hit up wasteland and also uh crossroads they're both like literally a minute away from each other it's a whole strip 
on Melrose where they've got them. But I really wanted to go to, it's called Second Street, I think, but I didn't get around to it. Um, I've got these really cute bloomers from a brand called Pan Pan from Wasteland. These are really cute. I'm a bit worried they're like super low waisted. I didn't try them on there, I should have, but I, we were just feeling tired and they kind of looked like they'd work. So we'll see. Did I need more bloomers? No, <laughs> but I just love this blue color. This is a steal. I got this from Crossroads. Um, Alicia actually found this. It's this like faux leather croc, like red jacket and it's really cool. I love it. It looks really cool on. And it's super lightweight as well, so I think it'll be perfect for summer. But yeah, I got that, and it's got a good length sleeve. I hate a short sleeve. And then I got from Crossroads this bag, which I thought was pretty cute. I feel like I've seen these bags in so many American movies, and I just feel like it's something that you can like throw on and like put a lot of stuff in, and it was a steal. So got that as well. Yeah, job well done, I think. Come home with a few bits. Got my mum a bridge magnet yesterday when we went to Santa Monica. Got my dad a little keychain to add to his keychains that I've got him when I've gone on different trips. And that's it. We're now going to go to the Griffith. Griff. Griffith. I can't even say it. Griffith Conservatory. Where you can... Observatory. Oh. <laughs> Griffith Observatory. To see a view of like all of LA. I'm supposed to have a really good view there. And then I want to try out this ice cream place that I've seen lots of good reviews for. And then I think that'll be our day, really. So we bought these Parpy drinks that everyone has been talking about on social media. They're basically sodas, but supposed to be good for your gut, like a prebiotic soda. I'm scared how it's going to taste, but it's supposed to be good for you. Yeah. Um, I got lemon lime. Let's got raspberry rose. So we're going to try yeah. these before we go. Ow! Right, okay. cheers. Cheers. Mine's quite nice. The only thing is you can really taste the sweetener. Like, you can taste the sweetener mm. after. And that reminds me of something. It's really, like, random. But do you remember m &S? You should do, like, a flavoured water that was fizzy and it was, like, mm. lemon lime. It's exactly like that. Oh. Volvic. It's like, like that. The Volvic. Yeah. Oh my god, that's giving me flashbacks. I think I prefer yours. Like, it's got a tiny bit less of that after, e. after yeah. sweetness. Immunity sidekick. Oh, I need that. My immune system's so bad. Well, also, you get ill every other week. Also, you're not taking your vitamins now. That would have been for it. You take my tablets. Oh god, okay. <laughs> Review over. What, wait, what are you giving yours out of 10? Oh. Um, seven. Point five. No, I'm seven. I'm giving mine a five. Came out today. I know. I kind of wish I got them, but I just wanted to stick to what I know. A solid nine out of ten. Wow. Okay. I found this place because I remember like Tom Holland speaking about it on Sunday. Really? Yeah. So he was like, "Oh yeah, salt and sugar." Oh. So I was like, I have to come. Cheers. Last day in LA. We just went for breakfast, and now we're gonna go to Target. So let's go pick some stuff up. We've come for a trip to Target because we realised when we went to CVS the other day it wasn't actually Target. So we actually have found our way to Target. It was like through this side entrance. So yeah, Liz wants to pick up some bits. But yeah, we're going to have a little look around. Luckily it's literally opposite our hotel. Yeah. So it's ideal. Um, but yeah, we're going to have a little look around because this is like the first proper Target we've been to, I'd say. It reminds me of the Target I used to go to in Denver with my mum and dad, so yeah. We've got LaCroix. She's on a mission. I don't know what I'm on a mission. <laughs> 
Okay. My good friend Emma Chamberlain. My good friend Emma. You know, we go way back. Oh my god, so much cereal. The cereal I was actually a bit overwhelming over here. They're all so bright. Oh my god, peeps. Heaps. I'm not sure Stop. how I feel about that. Neither. Oh my god, they've got strawberry milkshake frosties. Again. Oh wow. Oh my god, I don't even like Hershey's, but they have Hershey's with popping candy. There's just too much. I don't even know where to start in these grocery shops, grocery yeah, stores. Oh, that's actually really cute. Is there any difference? They're all the same. Oh, no, it's just a face. Oh, it's just a face. It's just a face. We don't have creamers in the UK. Like, it's not something we really have. They have some crazy ones over here. Like, oh, it's, what's this? I think this is just sweet cream. Caramel macchiato. Pistachio latte. Oh, my God, they have a Mean Girls one. Pink frosting. It's crazy. <gasps> they have strawberry whipping cream. I don't even like strawberry flavored things, but that's just so cool to me. Now we're eating noodles. So we're just gonna wait now. Well, our gates be cool. Dear passengers flying on Virgin Atlantic flight PSA.